Good morning and welcome to the Lakeside Viking News. I'm Brayden and it's Monday, March 22nd. Let's begin with the brief LHS announcements. Welcome back, class of 2021. Your senior class sponsors are working on some fun activities to close out the school year. A few reminders for you in preparation of graduation. If you have not already done so, go to the Class of 2021 Google Classroom and order your cap and gown. The deadline to purchase this is Friday, March 19th. If you need help, reach out to one of your senior class sponsors, Ms. Techley, Ms. Krager, or Ms. Crawford. Also, whether or you are virtual or face-to-face, -face, plan on to attend a mandatory senior class meeting on Tuesday, March 23rd during advisement. At this meeting, we will discuss graduation and conduct a survey to get a better idea of what you would like to see as your senior year draws to a close. The Lakeside Beta Club will meet on the Beta Club's team site on Wednesday, March 24th at 2 o'clock. We will discuss upcoming point opportunities and members are encouraged to attend. Attention juniors, we invite you to learn about the Posse program. At this link, through its dynamic recruiting process, Posse identifies students for their leaderships and academic potential. Students who are chosen as Posse scholars will travel as a Posse to one of Atlanta's partner colleges and or universities. Posse scholars receive full tuition scholarships, weekly faculty mentoring, and more support. Posse Atlanta partners with the following college and universities, which are the top of the country. Bard College, Boston University, Brandeis University, the College of Worcester, and George Washington University. It is a huge honor to be chosen as a Posse Scholar. We encourage you to learn more about this amazing program at an informational online meeting on Wednesday, March 24th at 1 p.m. A representative from Posse Atlanta will be speaking at the meeting. If you would like an invite to this team's meeting, email Melissa Perlmutter, which, who is an LHS counselor, and her email is right here. And you must do so by March 22nd. Now to Deanna with the news. What's up Lakeside? I'm Deanna and I'm back with current events. President Biden warned the victims of the Atlanta shootings on a trip to the city, pointing out that most of those killed were women of Asian descent amid a rise in crimes against Asian Americans. The president also noted that the investigation into the killings is still underway. It has been a year of living in fear for their lives, Biden said, adding that he wanted Congress to pass the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act, which seeks to expedite Justice Department reviews of race-related crimes linked to COVID-19, and called on the Senate to reauthorize the Violence Against Women Act. More than one million people traveled through U.S. airports for eight straight days, a record air travel figure since the start of the coronavirus pandemic. The last high before this week was March 15, 2020. Overall, TSA screened 8.8 .8 million passengers this week. Air travel is rebounding despite the CDC still recommending against Americans traveling. Miami Beach police fired pepper balls into crowds of parties and arrested at least a dozen people as the city took extraordinary measures to crack down on spring breakers. Miami Beach Mayor Den Gelber declared a state of emergency and set an 8 p.m. curfew Saturday. The curfew and road closures in the city's entertainment district will be in effect for the next 72 hours, and the causeways to Miami Beach from the mainland will be closed to non-local traffic starting at 9 p.m. for the next few nights. And now to Lucas with the weather. Hello there, it's your trusty weatherman Lucas here. I'm just watching some March Madness here. Times like these makes me wonder, where'd that sports, sports guy Lucas go? Wait, is that, is that him? That's him. We had a pretty nice weekend, didn't we? I hope you got out during the daytime and enjoyed the sunshine. I know I did. Today is looking partly cloudy but warm. We're looking at a low of 53 with a high of 71. Tuesday, we're looking at temperatures in the mid 50s to mid 60s. Pretty good, right? And then there's Wednesday. Wednesday, we're expecting a lot of rain. Definitely in the morning hours and maybe, just maybe, the afternoon hours. Bummer. Isn't that right? This is my weather dog. If you haven't met him, by the way, he, he can also sense the weather. Look at him. That's it for today's Lakeside Viking News. Have a marvelous Monday.